Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, we're going to finish off this picture from Jade Summer Flower Girls. I'm using my new camera so I hope it works out alright. Um, it is going to be a bit different because it's not as big as the other one but I've got to have it in a certain space in order for it to actually film. So as you can see I've actually done some of this off camera. The reason for this was I wanted to do some colouring the other night and Paul gone to bed and I didn't want to disturb him all my colouring book through the bedroom. So I started, um, I did the background and did the hair. None of my pencil sharpeners are working very far, very, very well. So I've actually ordered some more pencil sharpeners. They should be coming tomorrow. So I'll be doing a haul video sometime this week on colouring books and supplies. I don't like that sharpener. See, I'm terrible. I like ones with, I don't know, I like metal sharpeners, not the plastic ones. That one's all right though. So hopefully, I will get some more um, a sharpener tomorrow. Now this camera's gonna be weird because it's not gonna, the zoom is different. It's like, I've got a, it's a switch on the top rather than, I don't know how to do it. Cause the new camera, look, here we are. It's very smooth though. Oh, it's a bit of a nightmare for me cause I'm used to using my big DSLR. So using this little one is a bit odd. So I'm sure I'll get used to it though. So I have got a lot of colouring books coming. I don't know how dark this is or how light. So I've got a lot of colouring books coming over the next day or so that I've ordered. I did a big Amazon order of stuff for the holiday, including a spare battery for this camera. A load of memory cards. I've got another memory card I've got to find somewhere that's a 32 gig. Um, I had it the other day when I was having the problems with the camera, the other camera, but now I don't know where it is, but it is here somewhere. I've just put it down somewhere, probably in the drawer. I'll start looking for that tomorrow because I want to vlog while I'm out there and some of the vlogs will be quite long and I've got no way of transferring the footage to another um, item so I haven't, won't be having a computer with me. Um, so I'm just going to be numbering the memory cards day one, day two, day three, day, day, day three, day four or so on because I've got two 64 gig cards and something like not two 64s because one's come in, I've got two 32s come in and I've already got two 32s that are the right speed and then I've got lots of smaller ones that I'll be taking for just photographs. So when I've done enough vlogging, if we're just going out for the afternoon, I can just take the memory card out, take a few photos and put it back in. I probably won't, I'll probably just put it all on the same one. I ordered some more shoes because where we're going in Tenerife, it's not it's, it's volcanic sand, it's black sand. So it's very gravelly, so it's hard on the feet. Um, when we went last time, Paul actually cut his foot on something when we were trying to have a paddle. So I thought this time I'll get the three of us a pair of water shoes so we can go and paddle in the sea. Jennifer probably won't like hers, but it's worth a try. That's ordered a luggage scale for weighing luggage. Because obviously we've got Jennifer to take, Jennifer's stuff to take. She only gets 10 kilos of check luggage, but we've got 20 each. So all in all, that's 50 kilos of, of check luggage. And I don't plan on taking too much so I can fill up my with her stuff and nappies and things. Because if I don't have to buy things out there, that would be great, but if I have to, I have to. So, a spare battery, memory card, luggage scale, water shoes. She's got two new swimming costumes. I was gonna look for a swimming costume for myself, but do you know what, I don't think I've got the money, so. I've got two swimming costumes, it's just that they're one pieces, and if my one piece is wet, I hate taking it off to go to the loo and put it back on. And funny like that but there you go I'll manage so yeah I've got a load of coloring books come in that I've ordered and this will be the last haul now until when I do it until after Christmas probably because I can't afford to be buying all these coloring books I shouldn't have bought all of these but because I was buying a shed for the garden 
I was expecting originally to pay, pay six, seven hundred pounds because of the size I wanted. So oh, I need a drink. The shed I've got actually cost me three hundred pounds. Um, a friend of mine's going to put it up, so we'll be paying him, and he's going to board it for us. So we'll have to pay for that. So I reckon it'll probably cost about about four hundred, four fifty maybe. So I've used a bit of that money for buying coloring books. So I have got, I will have a supply haul and colouring book haul and then I will hopefully be doing some more videos which will be things like the colouring on a budget. So I've got some budget pencils um, and I'll be doing them. And so I think I remember telling you that I'd ordered some from WH Smith and they cancelled the order and then suddenly a package from WH Smith turned up. Apparently what they cancelled was the copy of Magical Jungle by Johanna Basford. But it didn't say on the email it was supposed to tell me what one it was that was cancelled. But the actual coloured pencils and the watercolour pencils I ordered have come. So I will show you those. And then we'll do a video on what those pencils were like. I'll show you how much they cost and everything. They were in the sale. So... I do intend to take a couple of colouring books and a set of pencils on holiday and I'm taking the Black Widows um, and I've ordered the Black Widows light skin tones, dark skin tones are on my wish list. So I'm going to take them and I'm going to be taking Nice Little Town because it's such a small book and if I can get it I'll take Colour in Heaven's Halloween special which comes out um i think it's supposed to come out the third of october yeah something like that anyway it's the week before we go on holiday so i should be able to get that so you won't actually see that one until i do my next haul which will be around christmas i expect i mean i'm not saying i'm not going to buy any coloring books over the next couple of months but it might only be one or two like i said i'm still trying to work on actually coloring in every single book which obviously when you're buying so many, it just doesn't happen. I mean, I have started some new books. I've, I have got one on the go, another Jade Summer one, um, which I was colouring in the other night with my Sharpies. Um, but it's not like something which you would take a lot of time of. It's one of those affirmation things, so like live your dreams and stuff like that. So it's really cool. It's a cool book. Um, but it's just one I'm just going to, so right, I'm going to do a bit on this now with the Sharpies and crack on. So. so I still haven't got my car back, so I'm waiting on that, and that's going to be pricey. But there is, I've got some money put away from that at my mum's. So hopefully it won't be too much. Um, I'm just waiting on it. I haven't heard anything. Um, I need it for Saturday, I've got to have an eye test and that could be expensive and more expensive if I need a new prescription glasses. I think I will need new glasses, I think regardless of whether I need a new prescription, these need replacing because the lenses have got scratches on them and that might be what's causing the problem. So I'm going to try and finish this one off today. I said it's hard work <laughs> I'm a bit tired I find that I get very exhausted um, working I only work four and a half hours a day and I'll come home and I have some lunch and because I'm up so early and half the time I don't sleep well in the night because I'm constantly listening for Jennifer I just want to sleep in the afternoon so um, I didn't sleep well at all last night because <coughs> we've both got this cold you might be able to tell from my gravelly voice and she um, was grizzling in her sleep and that keeps me awake so I can hear her and then she woke up about two and wanted, a wanted some comfort so I had to bring her into bed with me gave her a cuddle she went back to sleep put her down but I, was, I really couldn't sleep so I was absolutely shattered when I got home. So my whole thing about going upstairs to photograph five items went out the window today. So I'm hoping tomorrow she'll be even more exhausted and she'll go to sleep. Now, 
we go to mum's tomorrow so tomorrow I post I do my work I go down to where I get my source my clothes for selling on for reselling on and I pick up anything I think is worth selling whether it's clothing they do sell bric-a-brac DVDs CDs toys and games sometimes we pick up toys for Jennifer I've picked up clothes for her from there as well and we just I just see what's happening and then which one do I want that's what's that color light something blue and um, I pick up anything I want I usually spend about three or four quid I don't spend much I mean I think the most I've recently spent was about a fiver but I remember the other week I bought something like nine items for three quid or something like that I can get stuff really cheap which is great as long as I remember to put it actually on right and that's where I got that Joe Brown's top. So, but I get loads of stuff from there. And sometimes it's really good stuff like Hobbs and white stuff. And I've got jewels from there in the past. I found a barber jumper there in the past. And other times it's Marks and Spencers, which okay, Marks and Spencers sell next. I get a lot of next from there and that sells quite well. But there's also a lot of George and Primark and new looking Sainsbury's too and stuff like that and it will resell as long as you sell it cheap enough and it's just getting it listed quick enough and getting it turning it over which is what I'm trying to do but the most I can list in a day is five at the moment just because of struggling with Jennifer that's why I need to get some cameras listed because I can list more of them they once they're tested they're so much quicker to do I mean, one of the things we'll be putting in the shed is all the packing materials because it takes up so much space in our hallway and we can't get to the cupboard under the stairs. So we're going to shove that in there out of the way and then I'll just go out and get it as and when I need to. <laughs> so. But that'd be nice. I'll show you it when it's, it's coming on Wednesday, actually. So when it comes, we've got to fill, phone our builder, Philip. And he'll say, right, I can come up and do it on this day and we'll say, fine. And we'll say, can you get some boards? Um, I'm thinking I'm going to need to put some sort of vinyl down on it. Because if we put attic boards down, if they get wet, they're going to rot quite quickly. So, although water won't come into the shed, it'll be more when we're going in. I suppose I could put a welcome mat on the front, at the front, to wipe my feet on when I go in. That, that might be an idea. I'll see what he says. But I'm very excited. It'll be nice to have that storage shed for Jennifer's outside to toys and stuff like that because she's got quite a lot now, she's got loads of balls and her sand pair and her 200 paddling pools, she's got two paddling pools, three paddling pools actually and it can all go in there over the winter and then come back out in the summer. So, nice. So yes, I haven't decided what we're going to do on our next colouring chat but or kind of catch up or whatever but of course we will be doing some budget colouring soon and you're going to watch me mess around with watercolour pencils which that'll be fun for you because I never use watercolour pencils the only pencils I've used that are water that you that are water soluble are the Dew and Ink Tents which I've hardly used but I do really like them um, I do have some Dew and Skin Tones watercolours and they're metallic watercolours but I've hardly used them. There we go. That's that done. <laughs> what colour is this one? That's a light blue. Caribbean Sea. Oh, that sounds nice, doesn't it? Caribbean Sea. Oh, is that breaking? No, that's all right. I can't wait to get some new sharpness. So I've ordered some small, like this one. That's what I'm using at the moment. I don't like it. I like further buns with a metal size. I've ordered three of this because I find they're really good. And then I've ordered um, a, an electric one as well with duo, two different size holes. So, yeah.
Jenna's okay though, she's so funny. We picked her up today from nursery and she saw us and came running over and there was some stuff in her way. There was a, a like a trundle truck, you know, that used to, a ride on truck that you push with your feet and some wicker baskets that they put things in and they were in her way. And she stopped dead at them, looked at them and say, say, they're in my way. And then she just picked them up and threw them out of her way. Not hard and not into anybody so that they would hurt. But it was just so funny the way she did it. <laughs> As if to say, nah, I'm not having this. They are in my way. So cute. And if you've watched the weekly vlog, you've seen lots of footage of her in the paddling pool on the weekend playing with her granddaddy. Which was so funny. It was an it was a nice weekend. We had a lovely weekend in the. I didn't go in because I've got a cough again, and I didn't want to make it any worse. It, it does seem to be clearing now, so that's good. I'm trying to finish this today. Um, I will do at some point a completed colouring pages, but I ha I don't really do that many. It's taken me three weeks to do this one picture. Um. And the reason I just don't get the time, because if I start doing it in the evening when Jennifer before Jennifer goes to bed, she tries to grab the pens because she wants to have a go or the pencils, um, which is fair enough. She's a little girl and she wants to copy what her mummy does. So I really have to do it when she's in bed. And sometimes it's just not possible, which is a shame. Um, I do try and do a little bit every night, but sometimes it really is just uh, like a couple of things. Like today, I started doing a little bit in the Jade Summer book, Live Your Dreams, it's got on the front. It's that one. Um, and I think I did one thing, one bit of a flower, I think, the middle of a flower, and that was it. So it can take a while. I did finish my Vogue photo, although the car's a bit rubbish because I didn't know what to do with the chrome front so I just used a silver pencil and it looks kind of white but I am fine to leave it like that. So, I am still planning on filming my complete colouring book collection at some point. I just don't know when. Maybe, it's just so difficult because the books are up in the bedroom and because I've got a lot of my stock stuff down in the living room, there's not a lot of space to bring the books down and stack them. So I'm going to have to have a tidy up and bring them down and then I can re-sort them out as well. And hopefully, hopefully then I'll be able to film it. I did start filming it, but I'm going to stop. I'm going to start again um, because I want to, because I did it on the other camera and I want to just use this one. I don't know what that is there. Oh, maybe it's a bit of a hair I missed. It doesn't look like it's a bit of hair. I think it might be a bit of background. In which case it would be part of her body. So I'll probably do it as part of her hair in a minute. Let me just put that back. And let me get which blue. I was going to go with this greeny blue, which is called Light Aqua. So I, mean, I know a lot of people have been reading on like Colour in Heaven page on um, Facebook about people saying that they can't afford things like polychromos or Holbein's or even Prismacolors because they're expensive. And at the moment they are. I looked today and the Prismacolors are at £150 for the 150 set, which is, when you think of it, it's a pound a pencil. And it comes with a eraser and um, a sharpener. So it's not really that expensive, but in, in one go it is. In one big hit, it's expensive. Now, one day I'm going to save up and buy another set of the Prismas because I do like them, but there are colours I haven't touched. I will admit that I've not used every single colour. And there are colours that I've used more than others, so I am glad that there are places you can get them open stock in the UK. It's just not that easy. And I will um, have to try and order some of the ones I'm getting low on. Because I do like them. 
but the reason I'm going to do the budget colouring thing, videos, which I might try and film the first one of that later this week, is just to show that you don't need expensive pencils. I mean, the Black Widows are fairly reasonably priced. They're £11 a set and there's 20 four in a set but if you want the whole lot then it starts mounting up because you've got the three Black Widow sets which are Black Widow, Cobra and Scorpion and they're around £12 per set so you're on 36 quid then and then you've got the 24 skin tones which come in two packs and they're £12 a set so if you want the complete set yes it mounts up and the point of this, the series is going to be to say, right, I've got 36 watercolour pencils here from. I've got 48 coloured pencils from. This is the maximum you can get. I've got this. It costs this much. Now, like I said, the WH Smith ones that I've got, which I'm going to be using, they were in the sales. They were half price, but it just shows that you can get deals if you look. And, and that's the point. Um, you don't have to buy it immediately. Crayola do some lovely pencils. And the Crayola Super Tips. I love the Crayola Super Tips. I don't use them enough, but I do use them, and I really do like them. I think they're lovely pens. I'm going to have to sort of white balance on this. I don't know whether it's right or not. We're on 21 minutes. Hooray! You should see me trying to vlog with this camera, because it's supposed to be touchscreen, but I don't know how to start it and stop it, unless it's just by hitting the record thing but yeah I don't know so I'm, I'm fiddling to find the button on the back I am pretty sure I will find it I'll figure it out I just need to look at the instructions I guess or it's just a matter of I'll actually have to start editing properly when I film on my phone I don't edit you see I just stitch it together but I might have to start editing but then if it films one continuous without breaks, like the DSLR breaks, I haven't noticed a break on this yet. And there might have been one. Then it'll be just a matter of watching it through and taking out the bits that I don't want. Although if I'm stop starting, then obviously it's editing. Oof. I'll figure it out. I'm nearly finished now on this one. We will be finishing this today. So I don't know what book we're going to colour in next at all I really don't know I, have, I just haven't thought about it I will think I mean I, I know what I'm going to do for the watercolours I'm going to use um, Lost Ocean I think because I, I, the Joanna Basford books are really good for using water media on I find I, I, I think I've used my ink tents on them. Oh, I think it was Enchanted Forest. And I really like the way it, it looks. <coughs> I'm not sure what this is. It's not an ear. It doesn't look like part of a hair. I've, are these are pearls. I'm going to do these next with this very, very light grey. I don't know what that is. I'm going to do it green like a leaf, but I have no idea what it actually is. And sometimes with some colouring books, you really don't know what it is. So I've missed the... Oh, bugger. Oh, excuse me. I missed a leaf. Or a petal. That happens a lot, doesn't it? What we'll do is we'll okay so that clicked off at around 25 minutes or something like that i'm not actually sure it just stopped i don't think the camera's overheating it's not warm at all stop touching it and so yeah we're just going to finish this off now so obviously it films in something like 25 minutes i think i've just got that green i'm going to do it green <laughs> I don't know whether it's meant to be because I don't know what it is. But then again, who cares? Green. We'll do it a dark green, I think. 
We haven't done a dark green on here, so a nice dark green. So there we are. That's actually a really nice colour. So once I get the Jade Summer book, I think it's coming Wednesday. I will do a flip through because I think that would be nice to see. I do like doing flip throughs and, and I, I always say, I think there's a flip through of this one on the channel. If you ever see a book that you want to see a flip through of, whether it's in a haul or I'm colouring in it like this one today, this, this one's actually on here as a flip, I know that. Then all you've got to do is leave me a comment down below and I will happily do it for you. So let's see if we can zoom this out and have a look. Oh, it's zooming. There we go. So there we go. That is, oops, that's the strap. <laughs> I will get used to this camera, I promise. That is... The first one from Flower Girls by Jade Summer, done and finished. Hooray! Do you know how nice it is to actually finish a picture? So I'll put that in my completed pile and hopefully we will do a completed um, pictures video at some point. Maybe, maybe the end of September. Um, I've got, currently got two, three, four and if I don't want to find, maybe October, I don't know. Um, and I'll see you all soon. Now, if you've liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below on what sort of thing you want to see on the channel. Um, share it with your friends. And don't forget, if you're not already a subscriber, click the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell so I'll notify you anytime a video goes up live. I know I do lots of different types of videos. Um, but, you know, always send me a comment. I'm always happy to um, listen to what you say. And if you like the current ones, I will try and make more of them. If you like book reviews, I'll try and do more of those. I've got a couple of books I need to review soon as well. So we'll be doing that as soon as I can. And I will see you all soon. So take care for now. Bye.